a blessed good morning and hello everyone. Our group is Gwenlin Zaraga High School team number one. We are the 21st century pioneers. Dynamic group members are Miss Donjelit, Miss Stephanie Jones, Mrs. Gina Lam, Mrs. Rosalyn Miranda, Mrs. Paulette Augustus, Miss Trislin Lord, Mrs. Claudette Norales and Miss Tracy Flores. We would like to begin with a short video, one that we hope will boost your morale so that you can sit back and endure our presentation. I've been researching ways to raise morale and I found an interesting article in a scientific journal. Uh oh, was it from the American Journal of No One Cares? According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. Hmm? Now you all try. Big smiles. Bigger, bigger. Great. Now we just have to stay like this for the next two hours. Can you feel it? Working? I don't have any enamel on my teeth, so the cold air is excruciating. Maybe if you brushed your teeth once in a while, this wouldn't be a problem. I do brush my teeth. They're decaying from acid reflux. You're embarrassing yourself. Crikey! You're not Australian, Gina. Get stuffed, you drongo! Guys, seriously, too much exposure to air and they will turn to dust. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. Our PBL is entitled Boosting Morale and Self-Directed Learning. Our action takers are our third form students. The time frame for this PBL is five weeks, where our students will create these infomercials using self-directed learning. Students will collaborate with experts, role models, and our past Gwen Lizaraga students to produce these videos. Next, I will turn you over to our colleague, Ms. Tracy Flores, who will be looking at our learning goals. Thank you. Stephanie, good day all. I'll be presenting on learning goals. Strand number one is personal development. Students will develop the ability to make informed decisions, set personal goals, implement plans, and assess race. So, their objectives will be to define and explain the following terms, morale, self-confidence, and self-directed learning. Secondly, initiate and participate in collaborative discussions to build others' ideas. Thirdly, create realistic expectations of themselves. Fourthly, describe ways that can boost their self-confidence. Fifthly, explore and embrace a growth mindset. To boost morale. Sixthly, foster a sense of ownership as they complete assigned tasks. Seventhly, praise themselves while acknowledging their accomplishments. And lastly, create and present an infomercial to boost students' morale. Our key vocabulary words are infomercial, morale, self-confidence, project, collaboration, and self-directed learning. The literacy skills are writing, reading comprehension, visualization, and questioning. The success skills are collaboration and self-directed learning and communication skills. The competency is critical thinking, innovativeness, and creativity. The rubrics are collaboration, self-directed learning, and communication. Next, we have my colleague, Mrs. Paulette Augustus, and she'll be presenting on the project milestones. Thank you very much, Ms. Flores. I will now focus on the milestones that we have set in place for our project's completion. Week one. In our first week, we will have students look at an entry-level activity by the name Think, Puzzle, and Explore. This will allow students to provide feedback on what it is that they know about the project, what it is that they would like to know, 
and how is it that they are going to figure out ways in order to answer those questions for the queries that they may have. Week two, we will use the micro lab and this will allow students to generate questions and research based on expectations that have been set from week one. Meet with experts and past Gwenly students who will be participants in the video presentations that they will be putting together. They will then collect their data, prepare a reflection, and lastly, for this week, they will be looking at a checklist to ensure that they have all the necessary parts for, to proceed with their project. Week three. Week three starts off with a research report. And in this report, students will discuss and explain what it is that they have completed and what else it is that they need to do still. A draft video will be shown to students, which will be provided by the teacher. Collaborating in editing and preparing their final presentation for their infomercial will be done in this week as well. Week four, students will prepare and show a final presentation of their infomercial and then they will be provided with some feedback from their experts. Week five will see where students will present their final final project. Along with that they will do a formative assessment and this assessment will help them to look at what it is that they have done. They will get the views from their peers and also views and feedback from the teacher. And lastly, which is the big ticket item, will be to upload those infomercial onto our school's Facebook page, their class WhatsApp, and other social media platforms. Now, let's look at some key questions that our students may have that will help them to better prepare in getting to the final presentation of their infomercials. Week one, what is morale? What is self-confidence and what is self-directed learning? By being able to respond to these definitions, our students will get a better grasp of what it is that they are supposed to have at the end of their presentation. Week two, how can this infomercial be used to change the mindset of students and build self-confidence? What are the benefits of a boosted morale and how can a boost in my morale affect my learning? Week three, how would you design a creative infomercial to boost morale? How can you improve group participation? What impact will these infomercials have on the Gwenlis community? How does collaboration with a mentor affect the quality of your project? What would you do to boost student morale if you were the head of the student council? And week five, how can you use the infomercial to inspire others and how might, you, how might your infomercial impact the community positively. Now, it depends on what it is that our students are able to grasp and how is it that they are able to respond to these questions that will give them that maximum boost in order to be excellent in their final infomercials. For students, nothing is worth doing if they are not assessed or if no feedback is provided. To guide our students, the following formative assessments will be done weekly to see where they are and where they need to be. Week 1. Project management, task ideation, sequence, assignment and update is going to be our first assessment. Students will then be made to sign team contracts and at the end of that week, they will provide a reflection. Collaboration rubric. A collaboration rubric is ideal in this case because it tells what is it that our students understand and how is it that they're working to get where they need to be. Our other activity for that week is going to be the three whys, a routine for nurturing a disposition to discern the significance of a situation. These worksheets will be collected and students will prepare a check-in journal. Week three, our first activity will be the charrette protocol. And this includes the questions, what if, I wonder, and I notice that. This is a form of peer assessment that gives positive feedback and criticism to our groups. Team report, the team will provide a second report to 
say where they are, what they need to do, and what is it that they still need to accomplish. And finally, a student reflection journal would be prepared at the end of this week. Week four, another activity is our communication assessment. And this will help in order to see how is it that our teams are getting along. So the C think me we assessment strategy is perfect for this form. Self-directed learning assessment. Students will engage in evaluating themselves and then finally prepare a journal. Week five, a checklist to assess videos, what they have done, what needs to be done, and what is it that they need to still include in that video to make it perfect. A peer assessment checklist will, next, will be done next in order to assess what is it that each member of the group had done in their contribution to the final product. A student reflection, again, because our reflections offer students to assess themselves, and by assessing yourselves, then they know exactly where it is that they need to do, what is it that they have not been doing. Finally, an ev evaluation of the final project will be done. Thank you. I will now pass you over to Mrs. Miranda, who will be looking at our project calendar. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Augustus. Section four is project calendar. The driving question is, what are key concepts students must understand and the importance of self-directed learning? For week one, the project milestones are entry-level activity, think puzzle explore, and set up PBL wall space. The key student questions are, what is morale? What is self-confidence? What is self-directed learning? On day one, we have the entry-level activity, Think Puzzle Explorer. This is where students will state what they think they know about the topic, what questions or puzzles they have, and how we can explore these puzzles. The teacher will assist students in brainstorming the norm for the project process. The learning goals will then be introduced to the student and the project charter will be developed with its general project information, project team, stakeholders, purpose, objectives, deliverables, and milestones. We will conclude this day by discussing key questions for the week. To conclude our presentation, we have a quote by Albert Einstein. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. Thank you for your time and have a blessed rest of the week. From GLHS team number one. <laughs>